you. I'm Blue Eyes, chairman of the board. You know me. <laughs> I'm the, the, the voice, baby. <laughs> the summer wind came blowing in when I did Truman Show. <laughs> How about you sing a little different song? Get me to wet world on time. Sing, baby. I'm Ed Harris. I do Steve VR like the best of them. I punch in the face again and again. Wake up, live. You want to live? Damn it. That's what I said. Show me to the sand. The future, but that's not true. That's the different guy. I bet there is old blue eyes. But if you want to guess on the second one, <laughs> no, I'm good. No, you're not good. Good jump from the moon. I'm in the Apollo 13. Yeah, make some shit, baby. We're in NASA. Now you're in an option. Get out of here. We're cuckoo bananas here. I think I played a cowboy once. I only vaguely recall. That's it. That's the whole song. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, we burned hot on our knowledge of Frank Sinatra, but it went quick. It's like flash paper. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! 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 It's Tuesday night, beautiful people. That means it is time to set fire to this here internet. So I'm live in Austin, Texas for Night Attack. Bringing you the best of the worst of the internet ever since 1776. I'm Brian Brushwood, joined by the BFF and OAK. It's JRY, Justin Robert Young. What is going on? Oh my God, Brian. Oh my God. This is going to be the best episode of the show we've ever done. Oh, uh, yeah, because it's a brand new show called Snot Night. <laughs> Snot Night is a new program that breaks all the rules in podcasting. <laughs> including First. including international law. Uh, uh, we're minting currency live on Snot Night. <laughs> also, we're going to burn it in defiance of our own law that we make about the currency that it can't be burned. Uh, are you a fan of war crimes? Then get ready for Snot Night. <laughs> I'm going to dump toxic waste. <laughs> I'm going to gamble. The uh, 7-Eleven. I'm going to murder the prime minister. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> Snot night. Get it in your face. Put it in its place. Snot night. <laughs> ah, get the snot in your face and put it in its place. Snot night. <laughs> uh, hey, man, good show. That was a great show. Um, All right. See you later, folks. All right. uh, man, we've uh, we, we 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 got we got a bunch of stuff here to talk about up front, and then uh, we're gonna play ourselves a little game. We're gonna rid the internet of fake news. Yeah, man, we've been hearing about this fake news. It's finally time for us to figure out what's fake. Yeah, because there's a lot of a lot of questions out there uh, from Main <laughs> Street and Wall Street about uh, whether or not these newses are fake or not. Yeah, man, we're always hearing from Main Street. How come we never hear from Lame Street? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm on Main Street. I'm the mayor. <laughs> well, the, the Mr. Mayor, uh, you look like you're performing a borderline. Uh, 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 look, the president got in trouble for acting exactly like you're acting right now. I don't know what you're pointing out. I just raise, I, I swear all my hands around because I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, but now here's called a new bit called Move On to Something Else. <laughs> Hi, I'm Abraham Lincoln, and this is a reading of the Emancipation <laughs> Proclamation. Oh, please, you gotta stop. <laughs> uh, hey, so can we talk about old people fucking? Oh my god, finally. Uh, on Snot Night, we're gonna watch two old people fuck. Uh, so, okay, so there's a there's an old folks home that just opened a couple miles from us. Uh, and uh, it's, it's brand new and very nice in three stories. It looks like a very nice brand new apartment complex. And they're all they're all starting to fill fill in. They're, oh. they're, they're, they're selling all the units, right? And that got so me thinking started... about all the units that were being 
checked out because there's some empty holes that need to be filled. That, exactly. Things. Like, okay, brand new facility, mm-hmm. all new cast of the real old people have sex. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh my God. So they're all coming in, so to speak, at the same time, like freshmen. Like, I mean, think yeah. about it. For these people, not since freshman year of college have they had this experience. Where, uh, where they're just all moving in, and there's uh, the, the, the goon squads there, and they're finding out who their roommate is, and right, you know, uh, alliance, and 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 uh, you know, not for nothing. Forgive me for saying, um, oftentimes you you enter one of these uh, apartments after you are recently uh, bachelorated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what that God. means, kids? Rock hard dicks. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, oftentimes you uh, the, the the death till you part thing happened. <laughs> I know it's just like, oh, Doris, I will miss you every day until I join you in heaven. But for real, Papa's got to get some work <laughs> on. So you know. Well, and so, <laughs> you guys, Doris, because I'm going to be plugging them. Like, two at a time. I'm imagining there's like a Friends episode. Like, it's just everybody's just opening the door. It's just like, Go, yeah. it's, it's the Golden Girls Gone Wild. Yeah. <laughs> you won't believe. Uh, uh, you, won't, you will not believe what. These octogenarians got into it's, it's the Bang Bus seventy up, uh, seventy and over discounts. <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> they, <laughs> um, yeah, dude. No, look, uh, Sun Bun's claiming credit. What are you doing in the writers' room, Sun Bun? You know we pinch all the best <laughs> lines from you guys. Come on. Uh, all right. So, so you are, uh, are, are like, like, what are you gonna do? You gonna like strike up a, a friendship with one of these old timers? <laughs> oh, wow, this this just went in a very different direction. <laughs> Why I don't else? mean to fuck them? Like, I just mean like, you know, like you you go to a Mexican restaurant that's right next to it, right? Like you're there quite a bit. You can just be like, hey, so uh, old uh, old timer, you fucking like, what what's the what's the fuck sitch in there? <laughs> Media King nine oh nine says their bang bus has a ramp. <laughs> <laughs> Brian and I, Brian and I did go to uh, a to go have party once. Uh, huh? No. Oh, no. <laughs> we went to this Mexican restaurant. No, can we hear the other story? Same, same thing. <laughs> By the way, do you think that their key parties have those like old dungeon keys <laughs> <laughs> with like the big teeth? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Like oh. the one from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean with the dog in his mouth. It's just like, yep. <laughs> And there's cobwebs on it and, and the fingers of their vanquished foes curled around it. <laughs> one of them strangely glowing from a runic mark. <laughs> they, they begin by, they, they all gather around with the small talk like, hey, telephones are great. <laughs> <laughs> Indoor hey, plumbing. Remember, re- hey, remember the Kaiser? <laughs> I do. <laughs> so this all would have been a better movie than the new Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Oh, like, uh, is it bad? Fun, except they were like they were they were uh, uh, dead people. Oh wait, uh, are you talking about the new one? Yeah. Oh, it's Aww. not good. It's bad. Nah, it didn't. It didn't really wind up getting uh, good reviews. Mm. Mm. We might. We is sunk uh, our our chances might have gone down to Davy Jones locker. <laughs> uh Mitsula says they throw in medical alert bracelets. <laughs> and it's like make sure to take your own malady home with you. And the the guy whose Viagra ran out says, I've fallen and I can't get up. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. How long have you been sitting on that one? I just thought of okay, it. Okay, it's messed up. Oh, what verbiage, Brian? Jesus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how long have you been sat on that old man's dick? And why, how come you allowed him into a night attack? I told you. <laughs> if I catch you over at that old folks' sex apartment, don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> uh, Brian, I met uh, uh, a a person uh, at Twitch on Friday. I was there for this dance uh, thing. Which, oh, oh, by the way, we I don't, I don't think we played any of the. Have you seen any of the gifs of me dancing 
for charity on, nope. on last Friday? Nope, 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 nope. Take That's me on a, a tour. Story. So uh, they have this thing for hashtag Twitch Unity there in uh, the Twitch offices in San Francisco, and they decide they're going to do a three-hour marathon uh, with partners that are local to the area of the game Let's Dance. Oh. So it's a bunch of bunch of random people thrown together, ain't never met each other if you didn't sign up as like a unit of six, uh, and you're going to go and, and dance up on this thing. So we'll see the clips there, but just know, I walk into this room, and I'm dressed nice, because that's how I've been dressed on the stream lately, right? Yes. It is, <laughs> that is what I look like. That is, that is a part of the dancing. Uh, everybody else is, and, is, which, by the way, here's the delightful thing about Just Dance or any of those dancing games is they are a game. And so they put two parts of, of I'm going to I'm gonna be, a, be a, uh, an asshole and say primarily the male mind at odds with each other. You have the, the, the one part that is like, I'm going to beat this fucking level. I'm going to nail it. I'm going to perfect score this shit. Fuck, fuck, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. God damn it, fuck, fuck, I could do better. I could do better and get back on it. Try to match that brain with the freewheeling spirit and pure unbridled joy that comes from letting your body go loose in the moment and flow with the music. Um, it's I have yet to see it be an attractive combination. Uh, it was certainly fun. I, I don't know how aesthetically pleasing it was, but uh, uh, yes, there were there were plenty of opportunities <laughs> to watch me be a total horse's ass next to, you know, a bunch of teens. That were you know, just having the time of their life and, and, and you know, uh, not uh, what, remembering uh, the 11th. Is that lady pregnant? Yeah, she was. Okay. Yes. She's a teen? Was, uh, uh, oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> You've got moves. You're kind of like tr doing like a, I mean, I guess you're following the video, right? That's how Just Dance works. Yeah, yeah. No, you have to like step up and back and into formation and stuff like that. Wow. Uh, so anyway, all right. So we're, so we're doing that. It's ridiculous. I feel like a real uh, horse's ass in front of everybody, but uh, it's a good laugh. There's I want something. To talk... oh, sorry. No, no. I, I I just want to dwell on this dancing thing, but that's oh, fine. Go, you... go, go. No, 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 no. Keep going. Keep going. I mean, if, if, if you want to stay on the dancing, then we can stay on the dancing. I'm not trying to get out of it. Well, okay. How close are you to... You you know I'm banned from dancing with men on the internet. <laughs> yeah, I've how, heard I've heard that there was a, a ruling made. Uh, how how far off do you think you are from getting that pronouncement? Oh, never, never. never. Oh no no no! My uh, Ashley will will never give up the opportunity. She she seeks out actively things that are embarrassing for me on the internet so I cannot oh this was a fun move here I had to lean on this guy <laughs> was it, are they, are they oh, doing geez. hey Mickey because they look like they're in cheerleader outfits oh so it was a Katy Perry song called this is how we do mm. yeah. Yeah. I mean you guys pretty much look identical <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh yeah. No, there's nothing. There, like I definitely don't look like an undercover cop. Like uh, <laughs> a, a totally a kids like ring. A uh, yeah. No. Ashley actively wants me to embarrass myself so she can like point at it whenever I get too uh, egotistical. She it's, can just point at a moment that I failed publicly. <laughs> She's that, uh, uh. Is that like cover for, for her? Like the more the more you, uh, it's camouflage for whatever shenanigans she might get into. Uh. Oh yeah. Probably. Most likely. <laughs> Uh, so, so we do, we do that and I meet this guy and, uh, we're just talking about, uh, uh, various different, uh, like, uh, things and he's visiting from England. Right. So, uh, I mentioned that I make my money podcasting. <laughs> Apparently we're just going to have just gifts of me playing over me. Let's just have it show up from time to time as if people were subscribing on Twitch, but, but they won't even be subscribing. <laughs> we'll just suddenly have you show up and dance. Just randomly, yeah. Just that, that'll really just ease it in, you know. <laughs> so uh, uh, I start talking about uh, uh, the podcast and everything and how we make our money, and he's like, "Oh, I actually uh, have." Uh, he's an actor on this BBC show called Cuckoo, which I had never heard of before. But uh, it starred Andy Samberg in the first season, and it starred the Twilight 
werewolf kid in the second season. I'm like, oh, my God, you're like an actual guy. He's like, oh, yeah, no, he's done all these crazy acting jobs. He's been to the, the, to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. And then he tells me that he it all sprung from this one viral video, Gap Yeah, that we watched in the pre-show. And, and I encourage everybody to watch. It's really funny. Uh, yeah, I, but- I got the impression that that if I was part of the demographic that, you know, got the joke instantly, it would have been right to the heart of it. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think it very much is a cultural phenomenon in England. So if, if you are into that, watch it. It's very, very funny. It did. It was very successful. He got a book out of it. He did like a single. It became this thing. He was put on all these weird uh, bachelor, eligible bachelor lists and was going to these like society parties with people who have inbred to each other for like generations. Oh, that's just a that's a that's a great shot of both my dick and my feet, which is awesome. <laughs> Um, I just realized there was something on the screen. I I was mainly listening, and I was like, what? And then I look up. I was like, okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, so uh, at that moment, he has literally just finished running off these very impressive uh, uh, lists of stuff. So it starts off, oh, I do a podcast. Then he's like, oh, well, I uh, did this amazing stuff. And as if on cue, a man walks up and says, Excuse me, are you Justin Robert Young? Oh, oh is that not is the that best not- thing? Is that not the best thing on the planet? There's what what is better than to feel another man's ego ripped out from his chest Nothing. as you are recognized? I literally it I, I was like joking with the guy who walked up because I'm like, oh, you heard our conversation and now you're coming over to like be a funny guy at the bar, right? And he's like, no, like, I love Night Attack. I've been a, a patron to Night Attack forever. And uh, I'm just <laughs> really amazing. excited. That, uh, I, I thought it was you. And turns out he knows Ashley and they like get breakfast together. Uh, but but yeah, it, I was like blown away. And I was just like, I swear to God, I did not pay this guy <laughs> to like come up. It was the greatest feeling I've ever had in my entire life. So, so you know, you know that, uh, uh, you know, I've, I've been fighting real... Uh, uh, when I was touring, of course, uh, the value of my show was proportionally directly tied to <clears throat> how many TV appearances I had or how many people knew or, you know, the audience, basically. It matters, right? And yeah. uh, CJ, uh, uh, you know, mutual friend, we've talked about him on the show before. He's been there since I was a 19-year-old punk just starting in Magic, right? And, and he ain't no yeah. dummy. He sees he sees this kid trying so hard. All he wants is to, you know, uh, have validation or whatever. So this motherfucker with the black coal center of his heart decides that the most hilarious running gag will be to, over the next seven years, continuously get random people at random places to walk up and pretend to recognize me from whatever the latest thing I did was. Oh, my God. That is the greatest shit I have ever heard in my entire life. That is so cruel. It It was so mean. It was (laughs) So mean, and in fact, anytime it like there's an actual like spotting, like we were in, we were in the airport at Heathrow, I think. And somebody <laughs> came up, and they recognized Brian's laugh from Night Attack, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and I was just like looking around for CJ, you know, like well, I mean- <laughs> okay, well, and and that happened the first time I ever got recognized from Scam School. Uh, it was a, a year after Scam School launched, and we were at uh, one of the NACA conventions. Crazy enough, uh, in uh, Nashville. And somebody came up, and it was or, no, no, no. It was the guy the working. Right? No, no, no. It was at the um, uh, checkout at a grocery store, and the guy was like, "Hey, are you, are you, are you Brian? Are you the guy from Scam School?" And then like this poor kid was just asking because it's like, how many people have that ridiculous a hairstyle and talk like that, you know? And and so he does that, and I immediately just like disgusted. Like he asks, like, "Excuse me, are are, are you Brian Brushwood from Scam School?" And yeah. this guy, this this early entry into the burgeoning <laughs> empire of, of, of uh, online celebrity just immediately goes, ah, fuck it, CJ, CJ. That <laughs> <laughs> goes marching off. And then I'm just like, you say nothing else. You just yell <laughs> CJ and walk away from him. And then the guy's like, oh, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Now, now hold on. We got subscribers because <laughs> because we're seeing Brian dancing on Dance Showdown now. Please tell me if we do actually do a subscriber like uh, thing that it is the entire window. I, I like the idea that it's, 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 it
passed out. It's just a screen grab of the entire window. So, so this poor kid is just like, I'm like CJ put you up to this, right? He's like, I, I don't know what's a CJ. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, you're like, oh, this one's good. And you just start titty twisting them and like, hey, where's CJ? Tell me what the fuck. Now I'll tell you what CJ is. It's cooter juice. I'm gonna make you drown in it from your. Get your mom over here. Come on. I'm going to make her leak cooter juice. Also, that's my name for blood. <laughs> I'm going to murder your mom unless you tell me the whereabouts of C.J. Johnson. <laughs> cooter <laughs> juice. I uh, disapprove of where this is going. What are you talking about? Hmm? I don't know. I mean, that would be fucking weird. Like for you to do that, like that would be weird. <laughs> it's a, it's a smash got to, to, to. Okay, I'd like to believe that all the old people fucking in the new place. <laughs> there's like a, there's like a con man, like Mr. Wednesday. He's like, no, it's true. I, I've, I've got to drink cooter juice every night or I'll die. <laughs> now, won't you save an old man? What? 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 Like, 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 no, you know, what we all understand to be cooter juice. <laughs> Oh, now listen here, you cocksucker. <laughs> That's the hey, break break down the uh, break down the how everybody can do the uh, the Mr. Wednesday impression. Well, uh, what's his name? Oh, uh, uh, from uh, from Deadwood. Yeah, Ian McShane. Ian McShane. That's right. So so the, oh, the, yeah, the no. keys to the we, Ian McShane impression are what? Uh, uh, all right. The keys to an Ian McShane is you gotta uh, first you gotta really strain your voice. It's kind of very low, but it's always coming up. So it's like like I'm Ian McShane, and you son of a bitch, if you don't cocksuck and get over here, then I'll tell you this. Like he's always like getting to the end of his breath. That's the other thing is that the last word you say he has to barely make it out. It's, so it, it's, there's there's I, also an <laughs> up and down kind of lilt to it. Uh, yeah. with, 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 with lots of punches in there and, and then Can you I end with, with cocksucker. Can yeah. I try it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go for it, Bonnie. All right. You friend of Josie's and your chocolate milk fetish. <laughs> Wait, no, not at all. <laughs> so specific. <laughs> <laughs> the little girl doesn't listen to this Very weird narrative. <laughs> I thought initially it was just going to be Ian McShane talking about your daughter's life. But then you use the word fetish, and I was like, okay, we, I think we're really boxed also, in here. That's also, saying something, because we did the lame street bit about 20 minutes ago. Also, also, <laughs> she just sounded like an angry body. <laughs> like, all she did was just start chewing out one of the neighbor kids. For having a fetish for milk. <laughs> what are you always trying to do the advice? Well, I'm just saying it's me, Bonnie Brushwood. I live in Austin, Texas, and I'm tired of these cock-sucking co chocolate milk stains. I've never tried to do a voice outside of Andrew's girlfriend voice. Well, Sorry, no, guys, let's let's I let's apologize. expand your palate. What, I mean, no, come know, on, Bonnie I'm learns just... a voice. This is gonna be a really this is gonna be a huge episode because all the episodes from here on out are just gonna be you crushing it with all these voices. <laughs> I know. Oh, no. oh, we got a new subscriber. That's a dancing Brian. God damn it. Um. <clears throat> I don't know. I got nothing. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, hey, how about this, Brian? Wait, hold uh, on, hold on, real, real, real quick. Give, give, give me the further adventures of Gapia. Yeah. Uh, so, so he, he had a massively uh, successful viral video that that led oh, to yeah. all those no, things. No, 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 no. That was that was pretty much it. It was just all building to the fact that somebody recognized me, like right Sweet. as he's like, 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 yeah, you know, I've, I've worked with like Andy Samberg and and the werewolf kid from Twilight, whose name I can't remember. Uh, uh, and and they're doing a season three and yada yada yada. And I'm like, oh, cool, man, that's great. That's really awesome. I didn't know that those things existed, and here you are. And then somebody's like, you're important, Justin. And, <laughs> and somebody I'm, says, I'll be like, damned if you're not. <laughs> CJ, you son of a bitch. You've expanded your scheme. <laughs> CJ pops out and he says, I've been meaning to get you for a long time, you cocksucker. <laughs> and then he takes off on a rocket. Um, Brian, you know what the best place, uh, the best website on the internet? The butt. The butt <laughs> is great. It's on the internet, and people love it. Uh, you know what the best part, the, the best way to please the butt is, Brian? Patience. <laughs> well, of course, Brian, you need patience to... 
please the butt. But uh, if if you were to summarize the concept of patiently pleasing the butt in one URL, what would that be? <laughs> Wrinkles.co.uk. <laughs> Okay, well, if wrinkles.co.uk is the manifestation of patiently pleasing the butt, then what would be the website where people uh, uh, can really take their support to the next level? Um, Infowars.com. <laughs> what? what was that? Said Infowars.com. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, <clears throat> but if Infowars.com <laughs> in Austin, Texas, what is another website that financially benefits a show that is also based in Austin, Texas? <laughs> Double toasted.com. W- you beat me to it. Damn it. Uh, no, I think what you, if I'm I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm just throwing it right back at you. Uh, no, no, no. Head on over to patreon.com slash night attack where you can support the show and keep us financially solvent. It's a new game called Keep Us Financially Solvent in which you are the hero and we are the damsel. <laughs> oh, we'll show a little uh, ankle for you if you doth <laughs> climb this tower. Oh, and is, is, is that what it's going to take? Is that what you're motivated by? Fine, you meat merchant. I hope you enjoy this ankle. Fuck you. Ah, I feel so dirty and cheap, but I love my life. Ah. <clears throat> All right. Well, we got three foot fetishes. <laughs> um, dude, we've got... <clears throat> We've got, I believe, a longtime friend of the show who just pledged. For what? Mm. Well, for what? Why, it's for the... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack. New Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of... <laughs> Dude, welcome to the ranks! Andrew Epperson. Andrew Epperson. Andrew Epperson. Andrew Epperson. Andrew Epperson. Wow, that's just a box that makes impressions of me and Bonnie, huh? <laughs> oh my! Oh my gosh, Kylo Ren! It's so good to see you. Is that is that Kylo Ren? <laughs> Oh, uh, 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 Kylo Ren, uh, you know, we just had Andrew Epperson join our fine ranks of, 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 well, we call them the Knights of Patreon. I hope that's cool. It's uh, no problem. What? Okay, now hold on, Kylo. Kylo, we talked. Kylo, we talked about this at therapy. We we talked about this at therapy. We said that you agreed that it's not right for you to claim ownership of the Knights of Everything Blank. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Did that did that, did you not hear that right before you started crying? No. Yes. I, I, I heard. I heard. I heard. I, I, I did. I, I'm totally fine with it. I'm Kylo Ren. I'm Kylo Ren. A trademark exit from Kylo Ren. Anyway, see you later. Just that trademark, <laughs> Kylo. Uh, hey, uh, 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 Brian. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of a uh, lot of news going around. Yeah, but I'm concerned. I've been hearing about this new thing called not true stories. Mmm, that's, uh, that was actually my second name for the oh. Goosebumps series. Oh my goodness, R.L. Stein, it's so good to see you. Stein. I'm R.L. Stein, I live alone, and it was Goosebumps 1. Any Goosebumps fans in the house? Oh my God. Number two, not true stories. <laughs> you want to hear number three? Well, uh, yeah, please. Cooter Juice. <laughs> All right, now hold on. There's no way you have a book called Cooter Juice. Not only Bryant, shut up. 
<laughs> Not only, Brian, did I have a book called Cooter Juice, it was supposed to be an entire franchise that uh, they made me condense. Now, hold on. When you say franchise, are you saying like like beyond just a, a, a book to possibly a movie and then a theme park? What would a Cooter Juice theme park look like? Well, first of all, Brian, you better bring your rain slicker. And maybe a cum slicker 79 of that. <laughs> uh, is, is, I, I'm R.L. Stein. I live alone. <laughs> all right. Get out of here, R.L. Stein. Uh, all right. Is. Hey, man, look, we're, we're, we're going to fix the fake news. There's a lot of fake news. We're going we're gonna to suss out which is the real, which is the fake. We, uh, we got a list uh, pro provided to us by Chat Realm. Is that right, uh, Yeah. So people uh, sent in along a bunch of uh, lists. Uh, a bunch of headlines for sort of listicle and and hot takes. I wasn't imagining this quite much, so much like a game, but uh, uh, there are a couple of real ones in the list. Both of you have unique lists, so they're different from each other's. But uh, I don't know how you how you guys want. Yeah, play sure, this sure. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. The first one I have here, <clears throat> and you don't have to go in order, by the way. Uh, okay. Way. The headline, <laughs> the headline reads, and this is weird because I remember reading this headline. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it can't have been written by the chat realm. This has to be a real one. Um, the headline, of course, and, I, and maybe you read the article too, Justin. It says, sure. yeah. you can lose weight cooking with cum. <laughs> and basically, my <laughs> dick is going crazy. I, yeah, yeah, you remember this article, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that again, Brian? <laughs> The, the title of the headline was, You Can Lose Weight Cooking with Cum, and Basically My Dick is Going Crazy. I, I remember this. I totally remember this. The word basically so commonly used in headlines. <laughs> well, it's one of those subversive tricks they use for, for, for clip optimization is it makes it a little more colloquial, a little more to the point. But if I remember correctly, it was written by uh, Julia. Well, what was her last name? Oh, uh, Julia Smells. <laughs> Julia Smells, uh, yeah. who was known for her just ridiculously big lips. She has those oh, big oh, lips. Yeah, she was. She was just so had some real fish on her face. If you catch my drift. And meanwhile, she was known a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry, for... hold on. Well, uh, I, I'm unfamiliar with this phrase. <laughs> oh yeah, you know when somebody has big lips, you just say, "Oh, those are a, a couple of mackerels uh, scissoring." Uh, or, uh, uh, hey, hey. Wait, hold on. Am I understanding this right? That the image is not of a fish which tr traditionally has big lips, but instead no. her lips are the fish oh, and they're scissoring. Gigantic fish, yeah. And you're huh. like, hey, Poseidon, where'd you get those fish on your face? Oh, man, That's the Poseidon. the thing that you say to people with big lips. Also, uh, Julia smells writing about her dick going crazy. <laughs> 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 I mean, she meant it in the colloquial uh, form, but ju sure. Julia Smells, man, no, she's top notch. Look, New York Times, there a reason they're the old gray lady. I hope they're the gray lady. What? I, think, I believe so. Okay. I, yeah, no, you nailed it. You nailed, nailed it. it. You nailed it. Lady, but by the way, oh, what the fuck? Hold lady. on. <laughs> <laughs> what, okay, what's this? Here's what an idiot I am. Here's what an idiot I am. <laughs> I just got totally gaslit. I just, <laughs> I just looked. I just looked at this BuzzFeed article <laughs> with the headline, You Can Lose Weight Cooking with Cum, and basically my dick is going crazy. And then I thought, fuck me, it is real. And then, and then I saw the byline. <laughs> Who's the real line? Oh, by an actual chick named Julie Smells. Julie, Julie Smells. smells huh? Funny look. It's real. It's real news. <laughs> <laughs> that poor chick, whoever like is posing in the picture. Oh <laughs> there was a brief moment I was just like, "Holy fuck, we nailed that one!" <laughs> wow. Tell you what, Brian, it doesn't compare to uh, to, to to this old uh, classic headline. Uh, if these walls could talk, they wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I remember this. This was in an architectural uh, website. They were doing a walkthrough of um, the uh, about slavery. Yes, specifically the secret slavery of the Quiet Brigade. Yeah, who the Quiet Brigade of of 
Connecticut. Of Connecticut. And, yep. The Quiet yeah. Brigade. I believe they came in. And what's funny is like uh, slavery. Slavery is a, a weird word because they were slaves to themselves. That's what that was their credo. Slaves to the rhythm uh, uh, of their own beat uh, because they did have that big drum. That they would uh, that they would play all the time as they marched the streets. Well, they would hit it, and then immediately everyone would go shh. <laughs> the and then and they get cool for a few feet, but then it would, they, you know yeah. they'd hit it again, and then badoom, and then. Well, I, well, it was yeah, yes, uh, it was it was badoom, but then it was followed by uh, a, a, like a, like a sweet jazz beat for a little bit before they were like shh. So so what how could how did they know when to shush you know like like uh, apparently the music was good to a point and then at some point it needed to be quieted it needed to, to, to be quieted well that was their saying if you need <laughs> it, 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 it then we can do, 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 do it uh that was the that was on their on their quiet brigade <laughs> Uh, patches because they also played <laughs> baseball and they were in the major league baseball. Wow. <laughs> That's true. I do remember that. That was the yeah. amazing thing about that. And but they also enslaved others. So, uh, so... <laughs> by Daniel Gross. Yeah, huh. he's fucked up. Yeah, I I don't remember that. Is this a real thing or not? This is not real. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 this is an article about Obama. What is this? There's a photo of President Obama here. Like, I thought. Doing, I thought doing... to be honest. Okay, there's a photo of President Obama and a headline that says, "If these walls could talk, they wouldn't." I assumed that it could be a legitimate article about all the leaking uh, happening from the Trump administration. Very true. No, this is uh, for a socialist. President uh, Obama sure reduced a lot of reliance on social programs. <laughs> That's the alternate title. Mm. That uh, I'm just really I'm finally glad that Slate's taking a stand politically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, do you remember this article? Now you you host uh, uh, politics, politics, politics. So I'm betting you read the article titled "You're Probably Pronouncing the President's Name Wrong." Oh God, yeah. No, I remember that one. That was a that was that was a scorcher. That one set DC a uh, 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 blaze because when it Pronounce that it's not pronounced. Uh, uh, it's not pronounced Reagan. <laughs> it's it's pronounced how, Brian? Trump. Oh, exactly. <laughs> that a lot of people. That there's this subsection of DC where people only believe that Ronald Reagan can be the president. Yeah, uh, and that's so pervasive. Whenever people are like, <laughs> "Hey, what's up? You ever you hear what some of this Russia stuff with the president?" They're like, "Oh, uh, uh, old Ronnie Reagan called it the <laughs> evil empire." They're like, "No, no, no. There's been like a lot of presidents since then." <laughs> but they're all just like, "Well, there was there was Reagan, and then uh, Reagan, but he cheated on his wife, so in comes Reagan, start 9/11, and then all of a sudden Reagan <laughs> was black." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then and then he got a fat. Weird, uh, weird reboot where everybody was like, well, let's just have a black Reagan. <laughs> a it dark, gritty. <laughs> a dark, gritty Reagan. <laughs> a dead spin. That's where it was. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, you're probably pronouncing the president's name wrong by Patrick Redford. <laughs> Published today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do remember that. <laughs> yeah, that was that really that was a long time from today at ten o'clock in the morning until now when we <laughs> this uh this 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 subsection of Washington DC. Well Brian though, you know, the biggest thing that, that I remember over the last uh uh, uh few few years <laughs> Hold was, on in uh, the chat room, JC Calhoun would say like I all these fanboys say we can't have a black Reagan. <laughs> Sorry, that's space <laughs> underscore NML. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, how about this one? New Zealand on a budget. Send help. I'm stuck in New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that because the joke was it was all with a wink and a nod. They were all like, oh, send help, Americans. Only you could get me out of paradise. And the wide shot, it was a video bit, right? And then yeah. it's just like, uh, oh, they're stealing my money with these ridiculous drink bargains. 
Yeah. But at then some point it stopped being funny. And well, was the, it, there was this one moment where everything turned where uh, he was it was like the third pan out. First, it was like from paradise. And it was a huge like helicopter zoom that they just like zoomed out of. And then it was like with these drinks, <laughs> big zoom out, gorgeous grotto, Lord of the Rings Shire. And then uh, there was one where he's like he's pooping and he's just like, they allow this here. <laughs> And it and it pulls out too, but it only pulls out halfway, and the and the entire video stops, and there's just a full record of him completely evacuating his bowel. <laughs> uh, mm. yeah, no, that's uh. uh I think you handed us a turd on that one. <laughs> it actually says here the the subheading is what gives it away. This is an Adolfo Flores piece. This is no longer a bit. My editors have abandoned me. I am only allowed to poop. Uh, I mean, listen, sometimes you get the bear, sometimes the bear gets you. Uh, I'll tell you what, Bonnie, uh, you, you've been paying attention to the news. Mm, not because I want to. Why? Well, well, well I'm, I'm just <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying, like, do you remember? <laughs> <Okay>. <clears throat> do you remember this article that said that began with a quote? It says, quote, it's like Uber, but for fidget spinners, says white nationalists. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. Except that it's with people that uh, do the rickshaws with bicycles. and oh, Keep going. <laughs> we either do this wrong. Anyways, and so it's really annoying because like, they're so used to, to the fidget spinners and they only go to the red lights and then they stop and they spin their wheels. <laughs> they just stand there on a rickshaw <laughs> pedaling in midair. In midair, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, really, the big the big thing that, that drew everybody's attention to the story, Bonnie, was that one climactic moment when the reporter uh, uh, explains that, that one of the fidget uh, spinners just yelled something so loud that it got everybody all riled up, right? Yeah. Well, he yelled it because he had this, like, boom box on the front of it. And it was like part of the song, and it was just like, "Let it spin, let it spin real good." Uh, nah, nah, nah. And everybody's just like, "No, no." Uh, I wait. Uh, keep I, going. I want to hear more of this. I want to hear more of this song. Well, no, we can all, we can all sing the song. Let cringing. it spin, let it spin all night. <laughs> Make it right when we don't have to fight because we'll let it spin all night. <laughs> We're white nationalists, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> because it's all right and everything's right and that just happens to rhyme with my favorite word, white. <laughs> we'll spin it all it. night. <laughs> and then it let, it's been let, <laughs> it's been, and everybody started clapping and, and it became like a, like a La La Land style number but with a bunch of middle-aged white nationalists. Well, and you remember this, they, they had that pregnant moment where they pulled back a curtain and rotating stage, they said, ladies and gentlemen, Sir Paul McCartney. <laughs> and then, uh, and he's, like, he's like, someone's dealing with some stress, somebody's playing with fingers, somebody's uh, do me a favor, let it spin. I tell you. <laughs> And it was a pregnant moment because they don't have access to proper health care. <laughs> and Paul McCartney was pregnant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, never mind. There's <laughs> a baby that's going to be born. And then there was a full baby that came out of Paul McCartney, but it was a smaller Paul McCartney and he played Hey Jude. It was beautiful. <laughs> Wait, were you there? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that old codger from the from the retirement home take you? You can tell me. <laughs> he said, "No, you have to put USB keys in the bowl. That's uh, <laughs> this is an information fucking. We're all gonna get everyone's viruses from your computers. <laughs> we're just gonna grab everyone's USB keys and just plug them into our computers so we can all call call our grandchildren. Then we'll have so much to talk about with them." Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, stuff to talk about, like this article that is just, per I mean, if I've seen this one RT'd in my Twitter feed once, I've seen it a thousand times. Oh, man. Uh, the, the headline, of course, Brian, he stuck a vacuum in the last place you'd expect, 
until he couldn't anymore. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you, I, know, I saw you, you quote tweeted this and you were just like, must read exclamation point. <laughs> well, it's because I know you're talking about giving up your car, but it turns out it's an, a surprisingly effective strategy to just stick a shop back right up the tailpipe of your car. It sucks out all the, the bad spirits. Bad juju. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> well, I don't want to... I'm sorry, audio <laughs> listeners. You actually have to watch the video version of the show this Bobby, week. Look at like... this. <laughs> this is uh, from Sam Adams of Slate, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Uh, I've never seen Kathy Griffin look more like uh, uh, the uh, what's her name, uh, the the queen from Game of Thrones, Cersei. Cersei Lannister. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, well, I mean, th that was a huge part. It's by Sam Adams, sure. <laughs> by K Kathy Griffin, the Ted Nugent of the left, they called her. <laughs> that is not an edit on this article. It's pretty good. <clears throat> uh, uh, did you have any other, uh, any other of these, uh, these big, uh, big headlines? Well, I mean, some right of these are obviously true. Dieting secrets from the Civil War. I hate net <laughs> neutrality and I like mayo fight me. Uh, secret menu of death. College students are using Arby's secret menu to get high in dangerous and deadly ways. Wow, this ain't your ghost dad's vegan cheese. Chipotle just gave this woman extra chorizo. How dare they? I mean, uh, how about this one, Brian? Uh, Rihanna's getting thick and fans are rejoicing. You're all nuts. Vasectomy in my new <laughs> life as an aging lesbian. Uh, uh, we've got, uh, the top five things that your daughter, yes, your daughter, I'm talking to you, Brian Brushwood. That's, uh, that, that your daughter is doing behind your back right now. Uh, and of course, pizza. <laughs> when is it okay? Uh, Justin, I gotta, I gotta tell you, buddy. One of those is real. <laughs> Whoa! <clears throat> Rihanna is getting thick, and fans are rejoicing. First, oh let's get gosh. something straight. Getting thick is not an insult. I repeat, getting thick, not an insult. Hey, Bonnie. Yes. I'm getting thick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's not an insult. All right. Well... <clears throat> okay. Well, so... It, what's... Uh, She's put on a few pounds, and she's looking good. She's rocking it. Mm. Mm. Are they rejoicing? Was she not thick enough? Fans <laughs> rejoice. They've been waiting with bated breath. They're like, oh, yeah. shit. Will she ever get thick? One day, one day my brothers, we, we, she will get thick, and we will be ready. Was it and then we will pregnant? seize this day as if it was our last. Rejoice! <laughs> rejoice! 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 And then the quiet parade starts coming up, and they start rejoicing, and then the fidget spinner white nationalist <laughs> gang starts rejoicing. <laughs> what a great... And then baby Paul McCartney, who was just born by regular Paul McCartney, comes out and he plays Hey Jude again. <laughs> Holy... What does that sound like again? Oh, wait, hold on. Um, <laughs> I think we actually have audio of that. Uh, yeah, let me... Hey Jude! <laughs> Be afraid. Take a sad song and make it better. I was born five minutes ago, y'all. Don't let it, don't let it under your skin, and you'll begin. My lungs are still forming to make it better, 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 better. Oh, shit, man, that was great. <laughs> Uh, is, is this the next Minecraft killer? What are your children really playing? Nah, I think, I think we, we picked all the, we cherry picked all the best ones. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, we like to keep, uh, I think we've solved fake news though. I think that's the big, uh. Oh yeah. No, nobody, nobody. In fact, every time you hear that term, just know that they stole it from us. Yeah. So, uh, if anyone says fake news up to and including the president and all media from all sides, if they ever use fake news just in their comments, say, Fuck you, liars. Night attack rules. <laughs> <laughs> if 
back at know. Night Attack Show. Make sure you tag us so we yeah, can let the world say, know. Yeah, just just and like because they'll get it. They know what they did. They know what they did. Like just <laughs> let it, let them know that you know. <laughs> Fuck you, liars! At Night Attack Show rules on Twitter. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, New York Times, Infowars.com, the president. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, everybody. Can I uh, can I shout out uh, get, everybody in the Discord and the Twitter who who helped out coming up with uh, finding these new these very real news articles uh, hey, for us? Real, real quick, look, um, and and this is this is not a bit, although it may become one here. Um, like in all seriousness, the Discord thing really did kind of uh, pass me while I was blinking. You know, um, Discord is like Slack, and if you haven't done Slack, uh, then you should do Slack, man. Just do it once. You'll feel real yeah. good. You'll be real productive. Like you'll get so much done in 24 hours. It's insane. It's insane. And this ain't like other ways to get a lot done. You'll remember everything because it's written until you get to 10,000 lines of messages and then they're going to charge you. you. Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, anyway, do Slack. Uh, but anyway, Discord is like that for Slack. Yeah. For Slack. Uh, yeah. yeah Discord. So if you have Slack, Discord's an app that you can only use inside Slack. If you go to nightattack.tv slash Discord, you'll find out all about it. That's where yeah. I put the first word out about this. And uh, then on Twitter at Night Attack Show, a lot of people help find good articles. Thank you, everybody. Well, and and that uh, we, we got special clubhouses for patrons only, right? That's right. If you're a patron or a Twitch sub, we've got a special Diamond Lounge. Ooh, you, uh, haven't you done haven't well? Haven't you done well. And special custom colors for all of those things. So check it out. Yeah. Gambling Man just says, slackers and hackers. Uh, hey, Brian. Yo. Uh, you know, the movies came out uh, over the week. What do you say uh, we take a look at the movie draft minute? Welcome to your movie draft minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of May 29th, 2017. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. Then let's head on down into that cellar and carve ourselves a witch. Let's go check the scoreboard. Dean Corkillers is in sixth place at $50.5 million. Team Scotch Bros is in fifth place. Baywatch bringing $27.6 million, bringing their total to $86.7 million. Team Big and Tall is in fourth place, $169.5 million. Team Frog Pants is in third place with $221.2 million. Team DTNS is in second place, $266.6 million. And in first place with Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, bringing $77.0 million, bringing their total to $415.5 million. It's Team Night Attack. And that is your Move Drive Minute for the week of May 29th, 2017. All right. True story, Justin. Um, every Yes, Dead Men Tell No Tales uh, uh, sucked Davy Jones's Johnson. Um, yes. But everybody who didn't go see that, they had to go somewhere, right? They most certainly did not go to Alien Covenant. They most certainly did not go to Baywatch. New. They all went to see Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Which is now up at three hundred and forty million. Yes, number five in the draft. Uh, number five in the draft. It's got to be more. We bet so heavy on it. It's got to be like top, top three or four. Uh, I don't know. Nah, like, but, I mean, in terms of the values. Yeah, yeah that's sorry. That's per dollar uh, we, value. Yeah, we're we're about to overtake the fate of the furious that DTNS uh, has a slightly better edge on. So, I, but uh, I think the big question with this draft is. <clears throat> All, you know, the, our, our idea of bundling up base hits was predicated on the concept that there were like values to be found. And if you, you like you look at the grosses this year, there are no guarantees on anything like at all. Like I, I, I think uh, movies that would otherwise be like hundred million dollar kind of hits like Power Rangers are topping out at 85 things that used to be like 50 60 are now at like 18 20 stuff like that so I think there's there's a chance that just by the fact that we got the movie that made the most money we might be able to hold on but it really 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 only matters about what Wonder Woman does so yeah and that's that's where I get depressed here uh, about our chances to win um Night Attack right now at 415 million, DTNS at 266. Uh, off the record, we agree everyone else doesn't have a chance, but we could be wrong because right now Big and Tall has the number one value in the draft and they have all the rest of their movies left to go. Do you think uh, Dark Tower for Frog Pants is a uh, wild card? 
No, I, I'm sorry. I mean, I nobody TV loves this story more than me, but I don't think it's going to make any money at all. I, I, th- I think that's this is the most we're going to get out of the Dark Tower thing. That 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 Dark Tower trailer just looks so generic. Yeah, uh, which is uh, unfortunate because all the things that, that made that story great are are all the things that you've never seen or read anywhere else. Where it's just like that's just weird. That's way out there. That's pretty great. Yeah. But uh, I think uh, you know DTNS. Captain Underpants and Wonder Woman open up against each other. They're not the same demo, so they shouldn't necessarily affect each other. But you well, never know. It's been a really weird summer. Well, so here's the thing: is our lead right now is only 150 million. So let's say we're up to 170 million going on. Um, that means they only have to pick up 170 million uh, from that point. And Captain Underpants plus Wonder Woman, pretty sure they're gonna that those two alone are gonna cross 170. And then it's Atomic Blonde versus Girls Trip, which are, are you? Are you doubting Girls Trip? <laughs> I mean, you can't get an infection in your booty hole. It's your booty hole. It's booty hole. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. How about this? If you got something that you want to plug, head on over to uh, reddit.com slash r slash diamond club or diamondclub.reddit.com. Right there at the top, we got a sticky post where you can shout out your projects. Uh, runs one note writes. Hey, Diamond Club, in honor of Star Wars 40th, I wrote an article showing how Princess Leia's request for help was a great model for how to reach out to people in your network when you need a hand. I break down the hologram to Obi-Wan in three basic parts and make it easier for someone to say yes to running across the galaxy with a whiny kid, a scoundrel, and a loud, hairy dude. It's uh, part of the book. Uh, it's part of a book that I am writing, uh, and I thought this particular chunk would be of interest to the Diamond Clubbers. You can find it at tinyurl slash Leia. Or if you have, or if you hate LinkedIn, you can also use Medium, tinyurl.com slash askprincess. Oh, hells yeah. Meanwhile, uh, SD Wise. SD Wise writes, Adam Curry, the podfather, has taken it upon himself to wrap all of our pro-level podcasting content creation needs into a small portable package, the Podcaster Pro. Let's make sure this makes its goal because I want one of these little fuckers. The Indiegogo campaign is found at podcaster.curry.com, and there's a Brian Brushwood signature edition. Yeah, man. Do you know about this, Justin? Uh, I found out about it today on on the morning stream. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So uh, basically, you know, uh, uh, Adam Curry has had longer than most to figure out everything. I mean, we talked about his pirate radio days, and of course, he did mm-hmm. traditional radio. He uh, well, MTV VJ, and uh, and also you'll notice that the production quality of No Agenda is exquisite. You know, with all the overlaid um, uh, stuff, the soundboard stuff, and then uh, and of course, he sounds great with great with that great 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 is a word. Um, yeah. He sounds great. Uh, with, with I mean, that. he would he would fit in very very well in Great Britain. That's correct. Uh, but but he's got that uh, that rich baritone voice, and he sounds amazing. It just drips of pro level production, and uh, basically figured out that hey, you know what it takes to podcast. And uh, by the way, how many people have come up to you wanting to start a podcast, and they ask like, well, what do I need? And you and you just begin with. The, whatever the however they phrase the question you always answer by beginning with <sighs> okay uh <laughs> what are you working with how are you doing it what kind of podcast are you doing do you want to be editing afterward do you have somebody that's going to work with you uh is it everybody in the room do you have people on skype how, how, how questions- important is audio production and, and all yeah. of the, all that stuff so it's like right now it's like you got to have a computer we, we right now our setup we use three different computers mm-hmm. we use an, an eight or 12 channel mixer uh depending on how you count channels uh we we uh, uh, it's a lot and then meanwhile we're still not even using all the equipment we should because our voices sound shrill and annoying because we don't have a limiter uh, is it a, a limiter? compressor compressor or that's equalizer what we, yeah or we, a noise gate or yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, so, like, especially the Podcaster Pro sounds like something that is especially good if you are uh, uh, interested in going live to tape and, and having all the processing done for you. And it sounds like there are presets and all sorts of cool stuff to kind of get you going out of the box. Yeah. And uh, uh, so what they're doing – and by the way, I'm not I'm not getting any money out of this, although uh, uh, Adam Curry has become uh, – increasingly become a friend uh, since uh, he appeared on the podcast. But uh, what I love about this is that he really does. He has that, that, that rich, awesome sound 
to uh, their podcast, and it's all in just one box. You don't have to buy all the equipment separate. You don't have to understand all those things. Just use a preset. You're going to sound freaking amazing. Uh, and they've got uh, the early bird is, I think, what? like It's like 500, right? Uh, yeah. Well, here, r- r- real quick. And everybody should go check this out. You can go ahead and find uh, this Indiegogo campaign by going to YOLO420.com slash podcaster swag. Or but, uh, podcaster.curry.com. Yeah, I, either way, you'll you'll get there. Brian, I want to ask you about the company you're keeping on these signature editions. Have you seen who else has? <laughs> I, I have. I have. Uh, so so. By the way, um, uh, uh, more full disclosure. I think we've talked about my friend Gene Naftulov, who um, whose business card it just says Gene Naftulov, legitimate businessman. Yes. And there's yeah. no phone number given. There's no contact inf- in information given. He's 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 the the to be honest. And he was the biggest uh, uh, donor to uh, our Indiegogo for scam stuff back in the day. He yeah. bought the full stage show. Uh, so uh, anyway, he reaches out to me and and is just like I've I've been hearing about this while they've been working on it for. It feels like years, but I guess months. And then when it came time to, to launch, you're like, hey, you want your own signature edition? And I was just like, shit, yeah, that'd be awesome. And then, uh, and so let's talk about the company I'm keeping. So here we go. We got uh, John Lee uh, Dumas. Not familiar with, uh, with with John Lee. Do you know John Lee Dumas? No, I don't. Um, podcast Movement, which is a big podcasting convention. So if you're really, really into uh, the podcast movement convention, that's a great thing. That's big. Uh, I know that our uh, friends from uh, We Have Concerns uh, made it down there in <laughs> Dallas <laughs> back in the day. Absolutely. Uh, and then there's what's next, Brian. It's, uh, uh, dude, not, it's not what's after the, uh, uh, the, the person that I'm going to reveal in a second. Uh, Dan Benjamin, that makes sense. Another Austin-based podcasting uh, uh, person. But rather, it is the man who can bring salt to the beach. <laughs> Are you talking <laughs> to the Todd Cochran signature edition? Look, man, Todd Cochran is a uh, he's a pillar of the community. He is a he's stalwart, a lot of very staple software in podcasting. Blueberry and that's right, dude. Pod no, I mean Bean, he I actually he is the. Uh, uh, you know, if 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 Adam Curry is the podfather, the the the, the daddy of podcasting, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Todd Cochran is the backbone of it, and and uh, that that ain't that ain't no joke. Yeah. And my I'm first... hoping mm-hmm. that uh, in my largesse as a former mm. winner of the podcast awards, that I am willing to let bygones be begone. And uh, and I am proud to be sharing this platform with Todd Cochran. Good luck with those podcast awards, Todd. Fake news. Uh, do you know that he's out selling you by three? Oh, 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 oh. oh. By which you mean he's sold, he's sold three? three. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, didn't I think didn't about this. Blow him up like that, now but we sure. Got a competition. Don't tell Brian it's a competition. Oh. Look, I'm not saying it's a competition. I'm saying that Todd Cochran sold three more of his signature editions than than Brian is. How mm. could you guys let this happen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. He this, does get higher billing than Brian does, Todd Cochran. Well, and also he's literally synonymous with podcasting. That yeah. certainly helps. Sure. Uh, but uh, but I'm going to tell you this. If you do want to get it, then, uh, you know. Go get it. Go get it and represent. Um, that's a good uh, I, I think this thing is awesome. It, it is definitely something where uh, uh, the, the, the price uh, might make you flinch a little bit. But uh, I think for what you are I replaced mean, yeah, and like, that's the thing. It like, like, is, just is worth it. Like, let's start with just the mixer. If you're gonna get a good mixer, that's a you know two hundred dollar purchase. Uh, I, I, I guess you could get, you could you're get getting, like a fifty dollar one or like something. you're getting mixers. You're getting uh, multi headphone outs with multi uh, control. You get some Skype options that. Uh, that some of this other stuff doesn't have all of the presets and all. Well, oh, that's the right. It plugs in stuff. and actually does multiple. Uh, uh, it makes it easier to run multiple Skype accounts at the same time mm. uh, by reaching out to different uh, sources. Is that right? I, I, might, I, I might be making that up. I don't know how the software and the Skype stuff does, but it will supposedly it, it does. But, okay, uh, so re- real quick, it says uh, uh, no drivers or software required. There's a cough switch built in, dual headphone jacks. You got uh, uh, DSP EQ on the mics and on Skype. 
uh, uh, noise gates for Skype and on the master. Uh, it's got uh, room tune. I don't know what that is. That sounds awesome. That That is uh, their proprietary little formula to try to knock out your room tone. Oh, that's uh, awesome. On, on the device level, which is like – he does uh, – uh, Curry just released like a SoundCloud of him like talking in a closet uh, just to demonstrate all the different settings. And like that room tone thing is no joke. Like it, 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 was, it was pretty impressive listening to it. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, also digital mix minus output and all that stuff. Uh, dude, I, it, if you – think about it this way. If you're wanting to start a podcast and let's say you don't know how long it's going to go. Like, let's say, do you believe you're going to do 20 episodes of your podcast? If so, then for $25 an episode, you can have this totally covered. Yeah. And and uh, if you could see, you know, uh, outside of the reach of our uh, uh, frames here, you would understand how much equipment we have uh, going on over here. And this knocks out a lot of it. Although I, I would I would definitely. I would, I would, I would still have to. <laughs> you, you would still have to plug in your 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 vocoder. Got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Kylo Ren. Classic Kylo. Oh my gosh. Well, there's a book. Uh, oh, oh, and, 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 uh, Brian, of course. Uh, we have uh, rounding out Diamond Time. Papa Sparky says, Greetings, beautiful diamonds. My friend Julie is incredibly diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> that's a curious that's a curious modifier i don't know that i've heard of anyone being like incredibly diabetic i mean i'm just saying that there's a real seesaw in tone here from old papa sparky <laughs> greetings beautiful diamonds ah my friend julie is incredibly diabetic <laughs> good news she's been approved for an insulin pump bad news she's also in a bad place financially and can't afford the initial cost of the equipment she has set up a GoFundMe to help stave off neuropathy in her extremities. Anything you can throw her away would make a world of difference in her life. That is uh, YOLO420.com slash pump swag. I'll tell you what, man. They're already one-third of the way there, 840 out of 2200. And, uh, man, neuropathy ain't no joke. That's scary stuff. Uh, just getting the tingling and the loss of sensation and that, that don't come back from what I understand. It's like uh, – I don't know. A little goes a long way in that stuff. Uh, the other Jew points out that they did take her picture in front of a candy rack, which I don't know is. Uh, uh, yeah, not uh, not probably in line with the insulin pump uh, messaging. I probably also, would. Yes, like, this looks like a selfie. So <laughs> so I would I would guess that maybe it was it was her taking. Long story short, go let like let's not keep this. Thing, yeah. uh, uh, speaking of brave. Yes. We've got a book out by Sved. Oh, dude, Isn't we got Svetlana uh, Chomakova. I can never put I, I, I know. I, I, Sved. Sved's got a book. It's yes. called Brave. It's the sequel to uh, the, the, the previous book Patrick, that I can't remember now. Patrick Delahanty is hopefully listening, so I can just openly admount, uh, admit my complete and abject failure. We got it in the mail, and I know that Josie, like she loves, loves, loves Awkward, has read it a million times. And then we're like, hey, look what we got, Josie. And I didn't have the goddamn camera running as she just erupted with joy, grabbed the book, hugged it, spun around in circles, and uh, and was just like, yes, 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 yes. And I'm so sorry I didn't catch that. That's that's, uh, It's beautiful, beautiful artwork. And uh, the story is super compelling. There's a reason it's Josie's favorite book on the planet. Mm -hmm. uh, dude, I, I was uh, hanging out with Svet and Patrick uh, this this weekend. So I'm oh. at a barbecue. Uh, uh, apparently the launch is going fantastic. And also... They, like any author, uh, she is watching her reviews and is especially delighted when she sees any kind of diamond in uh, the Amazon reviews or the Goodreads reviews. So uh, if you read the book and you dig it or you want to support somebody that has drawn old John Smokey like, into some of her published work, yeah. Then, uh, then go ahead and just just review it and throw a little diamond uh, down there so she knows that that we're supporting her. Yeah, man, that stuff matters a lot. Mm -hmm. So give your true tale, as true as the fake news we debunked. Just uh, tell your tales. Tell your tales is a another book that, of course, was written by Fidel Castro. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was a very awkward book tour because he was constantly wearing a fake mustache over his actual mustache and what? claiming he wasn't Fidel Castro. Also, it was Tell Your Tales, T A L, uh, or sorry, T A I L S. So it was about animals, and uh, and it was like them. It was basically like like an animal version of the De- of, of of the Decameron. The I'm sorry, what's the De- Decameron? Uh, uh, it's a it's a medieval or Renaissance uh, literature that was the precursor for the uh, uh, Can- Canterbury Tales. That's it. I wanted to say the Chaucerberry Tales. So look, here it is. Tell your tales. Tell your uh, tales uh, by Fidel Castro. <laughs> Weird. It's already up. It does. It has it right there. That's I amazing. love the artwork on this one too. <laughs> this one's definitely great. It's out May twenty third. Old Fidel back from the grave, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody make that movie. Old Fidel, back from the grave, bitch. He just punches through the... <laughs> I'm here to party. Uh, man, has it already been an hour and change? We are done with another episode of Night Attack. Man, if you guys haven't caught the bug yet, join us live. You got to experience it live at twitch.tv slash night attack. Tuesdays. Tuesdays. And, of course, we got lots of other stuff we're doing. You know, join it in on the hype train on Fridays. Uh, we got weird things. We got cord killers. And uh, and I've taken to, uh, uh, we did, we did, uh, excited to play a little more PUBG. PUBG. Mm. Mm. And the uh, rewind uh, on Saturday nights. Oh, that's right. Rewind Saturday nights. We just, uh, you guys just re-experienced the the, the Ghost very Dad saga. first uh, BB live show and Ghost Dad saga. That's right. That's right. Right on. Uh, that is that is amazing. How how did the first BB live show uh, hold up? Not well. <laughs> it feels like it was missed something. I, I mean, love, that- at one point Brian says, "This will all goes smoother when I have someone else to do this." Oh, was I wrong? You're right. Just <laughs> the timeline was a little. <laughs> Just t- took a little while. Took a little while. All right, love you guys. See you next Tuesday. Die in a Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>